Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient with lateral elbow pain, had a diagnosis of lateral epicondylitis, had no history of injury, just lateral elbow pain. And we see this is the lateral epicondyle over here, this is the epicondyle. Here's the medial epicondyle, radial head here. And we see this fluid signal overlying the epicondyle. And the common uh, extensor muscle group is down here in the forearm. The extensor muscles, they come together to form this common extensor tendon. It attaches right here on the bone. But we can see how the tendon, almost all of it, is stripped off and retracted back a little bit, and now fluid has filled that space. And this is big enough where it'll need to be repaired. Very commonly, we'll see a little linear band of bright signal right at the attachment, and that we just call lateral epicondylitis. And I think that represents micro tearing right at the attachment, and you get fluid signal. But if it's not retracted, they treat that conservatively. Some people dry needle it or just let it heal itself. But when it's retracted this far back, you can actually see the tendon fibers stripped from here back to here. This will be unstable, and they'll need to reattach that. Now here's an axial image, radial head here. We're going to come back up, up. And right here, we see that fluid signal. And right here is the bony attachment. See how that's uh, scooped out? We don't see the tendon at all. It's just fluid filling that space. So it looks like it's torn from the attachment and retracted down a little bit. And here's the medial side by comparison, nice dark uh, complex there attaching on the periosteum. And here's that fluid filled gap here. So this is a tear of the common extensor tendon origin with mild tendon retraction, a little bit of edema in the muscles. Now the ligamentous structures there that are deep to the common extensor tendon are intact. We see this coming down here. This is a combination of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament and radial collateral ligament here that are deep to that. Often we'll see this torn and the ligaments torn, but in this case it's an isolated tear of the common extensor tendon. Thank you very much.